But they don't treat you like you from here. Africa right there. Africa, that's a continent right there. Mm -hmm. But what country? You saw, if, you, if you asked a, a white person, you say, what, say, what country are you from? He said, oh, I'm from, my family's from Sweden. Mm -hmm. That's a country, ain't it? Yeah. You have an African, he goes, oh, I'm from Nigeria. Sure, yeah. You ask us, oh man, I'm from America. Yeah, yeah. They never say that. Yeah. And guess what we go, oh man, I'm from Africa. That's a continent? That's yeah. a continent. Yeah. But we don't never say a country. Guess what country we from? Right there, that's what we from right there. What is that? Israel. That's who you are, you Israel. And you ain't never heard nobody call you that. Nope. I'm gonna show you why, I'm gonna show you right quick and it's in the Bible and then we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> Psalms, this is Psalms, the book they tell us to read all the time. Ooh, read Psalms, they got some nice stuff or something. 82 chapter. 82, 82, I'm sorry. 83. Copy, what are you reading? Psalms 83. Keep not thy silence, O God, and hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies take a tumult, and they hate thee, and they hate thee, have, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Who is his people? And have consulted against thy hidden ones. Who is the hidden one? The ones who don't know who they are. Who is that? The African American, the Negro, the Black, the uh, what other names we've been called? Some of everything. Man, some of everything. He said you're gonna be known as a byword. That's a byword. He said you're gonna be a proverb. Guess what? Finish this for me. If you want to hide something from a black man, put it where? Come on, man! How did you know that? That's a proverb. That's an old African proverb. The ones who we say we are. That's their proverb about us. Want to hide something from a black man? And they black too, ain't they? But they know we is real. Put it in their book. They ain't even going to read their they history. That's what you tell them. They ain't even going to worry about their history. He said, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against it. They are all together against us. The Tabernacles of Edom, those are the ones who call themselves Jewish. The Ishmaelites, those are the Arabs. Moab, those are Lot's folks, those are Jordanians. And the Hagarines, those are the Saudi Arabians. The, East, the uh, Middle Easterns, those are Hagar. Jebel, Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, and the inhabitants of Tyre. Those are African nations. They, them people dog as us. So is it a color thing? He said, all oh, them consulted against us. Asher also joined himself with them. They have hoping the children of Lot, say Lot, do unto them as unto the Midianites. Man, cause they don't make the name of Israel no more. They call themselves Israelis. They don't even call themselves Israelites, do they? Why don't they call themselves Israelites? That's what the Bible said that they were. Why don't they call themselves Israelites? Cause they ain't Israelites. Cause if you're Israelites, you gotta look like the ancient Egyptian, what they look like. Mm -hmm. Ancient Egyptians looked just like us, didn't yeah, they? So if Moses passed for an Egyptian, what did he look like? If Joseph was up there and his brothers didn't even know who he was, they thought he was an Egyptian, what did he look like? Mm -hmm. If the Lord told jo Joseph, uh, Jesus' dad, hey, here I was looking for, go hide your family in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Hide around people who look like you. Right. He didn't say go to Rome. Rome was over Jerusalem then. Why didn't he say go hide in Rome? Cause we hear the wrong, like man, if a new black family come in wrong, <laughs> bring them back down here. Mm -hmm. Well, the black family go to Egypt, we're like, uh, who is who? Man, wh which one? <laughs> yeah. like but you know what they go? Oh man, color don't matter. Get rid of the Lord. That's what that's when you bring facts together. They oh, get, get, they gonna add you up with feeling. Man, it don't matter. Get love the Lord. Well, why is it in the book like that? Why does it say that in the book if it don't matter? Cause you know why? It don't matter to those who want don't want to serve the Lord in truth and in spirit. If I want to serve the Lord in feelings and emotions, I don't need to know that. All I got to know his name and know that I love him. But Jesus said, they're going to come and say, Lord, Lord, we have prophesied in your name. We have cast our demons in your name. We fed the needy in your name. But he's going to say, profess to them, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. And who's going to be saying that? They're going to be the ones on the corner kicking it tonight, saying that, that they, they prophesied in his name. That ain't gonna be them. It ain't gonna be the prostitutes and the pimps and the drain bangers. It ain't gonna be them saying that because they ain't doing nothing in this name. Who gonna be gonna say they did all this in this name? The ones who are going to church every Sunday, right? We, man, we gave to the needy. Man, we prophesy, Lord, Lord. We do all that in your name, Lord. He gonna say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. 
Not I stopped knowing you. I never knew you. Because mm-hmm. you ain't never did nothing I told you to do. Dude. You're doing whatever that man standing up there told you. Oh, them 600 laws. You ain't got to keep them. Show me the Bible where it says 600 laws. Can't find it nowhere. They handed them up and said, got a big number. It's too many. You can't do it. They got more laws like that in the Constitution. Your folks tell you all the time, don't go out there still. They tell you, it ain't against the law to commit adultery. They ain't gonna get, you ain't going to get locked up for that. What law is that against then? Mm-hmm. That's against the commandments, ain't it? Mm-hmm. You don't get locked up for messing around. But you will get put in that leg of fire. Because that commandment is real. Mm-hmm. But don't nobody got no problem with an adult hot on it. Keep it safe. Oh, man. Keep it on safe, bro. <laughs> I ain't got to do that. But let the image, man, look, this is my cross. Jesus died across the cross. Okay. That's a graven image. What's the hand? That's a graven image. The Lord said, make you no image of the heaven above. First time. Earth, huh? The man, first the man, the second. The first is make no other God before. No, no images, no nothing. Yeah. But see, the Catholic did that. They blended them, that first one. The Catholic said, make you no know other gods. I mean, uh, worship no other God and graven image. They put all that in one. Mm-hmm. But if the first one is make you no know other gods. Mm-hmm. Worship no other God so you can't do it. Christmas called Jesus was born on the 25th day of December. Ain't no way, Mary. You mean they're going to have Jesus in the manger outside in the middle of the winter? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. He's going to be outside in the manger in the middle of the winter. Mm-hmm. That ain't going to make sense. The shepherds out there with their with they, uh, goats in the middle of the winter? No, sir. Mm-hmm. That don't happen. Mm-hmm. So something got to be off. But we they so we still gonna do it. That's what we do. And we don't supposed to do we supposed to be like, man, I ain't doing that. I know that ain't right. I know that ain't no fat white man run down my chimney giving my kids presents and I ain't getting no credit for it. Mm-hmm. They gonna say he checking his list. He know know what you're doing, right? Mm-hmm. If he know what you're doing, what that mean? He got super special powers on it. Mm-hmm. So we serving some spirit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he trying to take he trying to take Jesus' place. Cause they ain't call him Jesus, they call him Saint Nick. Mm-hmm. And he got to know if you're naughty or nice. Mm-hmm. We teach our children lies, so it's easy for them to go in and believe another lie. Mm-hmm. You teach them truth, they ain't gonna believe no lie. Mm-hmm. They don't match up. Jesus born six months after John the Baptist. John the Baptist born around this time of year. What's six months after this? Is it Christmas? Uh, it's spring, summer. I mean, fall, fall, some in the summer, fall, right? That's when, that's when they, that's when Jesus was born. So who we celebrate the twenty fifth of December? What's the pagan holiday? Pagan holiday. We still do it. Oh, Egypt. They used to kill a baby. But before, the, yeah, man, look, killing their babies to Molek. Mm-hmm. And guess what? We do the same thing. We ain't killing ours to Molek. We grow our kids. If she go doing Christmas, she gonna grow up doing it. The Lord gonna kill her too. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing. You sacrifice your babies to the to that Molek. Mm-hmm. The exact same thing. So the Lord just wants us to be knowledgeable and not hateful because that's an emotion, right? The Lord wants us to be knowledgeable and just teach his word to everybody. But just like they told the Bible, the Lord said go straight not to the Gentiles, no to the Samaritans. He came to Israel first to wake up his priests before they went out to teach all the nations. Because they had the Old Testament, they didn't do a good job. Mm-hmm. The Lord, man, he just, he said, man, I, I just own y'all, man. But he already made a covenant, so he couldn't go against this covenant. So he sent Jesus, Jesus came, showed us how to do that. And now he goes out there, those who, he came into his own, mm-hmm. and his own gave, gave him not. But those who came into him, those he gave a chance of eternal life. He talked about he gave him to Israel, and guess what our forefather said? Kill him and let his blood be on our children's and our children's children. And now we're going to slavery, we're feeling bad. Mm-hmm. We asked for that. Our forefather said they killed our king. So we tell it to everybody? You're going to teach his word to everybody. He said in Isaiah, he said to the, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to read it. Yeah, boy, did you lock them up? Hmm? Did you lock them up? Okay. Because you asked about this earlier. Isaiah 56. 
uh, thus said the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed, right? Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of the man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, even though I'm polluting it tonight, and keep his hand from doing any evil, right? Mm -hmm. Neither let the son of the stranger, the strangers, any nation that's not Israel, he's talking about white, like any other nation, right? Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself unto the Lord speak, saying, he joined himself to the Lord. How you join yourself to the Lord? You start keeping his commandments, calling on his name, and doing things in righteousness, right? Mm -hmm. Speak, saying, the Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. But neither let the eunuch say, behold, I am a dry tree, a eunuch is one who can't have kids, right? For thus said the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbath and choose to do things that please me and take hold of my covenant. The covenant is to keep another commandments. That's a simple, that's simplicity. It ain't changed. That's a new covenant too. Keeping other commandments. Because keeping the commandments is love. Even unto him will I give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than the name of sons and the daughters. And I will give him an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. And also to the sons of the strangers, the other nations that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord and to be his service. And everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taking hold of my covenant, even then will I bring to my holy mountain to make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifice shall be accepted upon my altars, for mine house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Hmm. So they lied to you, didn't they? They lied to you when they said that, oh, it's only for Israel, not the other people. They said for all people, didn't they? Yes, sir. So how can it be just for Israel? See, that's why it's important to know this book. It's important to know, just like they told you, you die, you go to heaven. Read that one time, $1,000 a day. Ask any preacher. If you know some preacher, $1,000 a day. One place where it says when you die, you go to heaven. One place, not two, one. One place in the Bible says, man, when you die, you go to heaven. So I mean, how I many, because who could use a thousand dollars a day? <laughs> who? That's what I was thinking. And man, that's what, and that's what they told us, that's what we're going to get, right? It should be easy to go to somebody and find that out. Hmm. And I'm getting a thousand a day. Hmm. That should be easy. But guess what? Do it look like I'm worried about that? Hmm. I ain't worried about that because it ain't nowhere in the book. But just like I asked you earlier, I asked them, if I told you, if you had a job, and you found out you're supposed to get paid $3,000 uh, at, at the end of the month, right? If you find out you want to get paid, would you still go to that job? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh. So I quit that? If you find out that nowhere in the Bible said when you die, you go to heaven, are you still going to that church? Huh? Am I still going to go to that church? Yeah. If I do what now? If you find out there's nowhere in the Bible said when you die, you go to heaven. Am I gonna still go to that church? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna go to that church. You see what I'm talking about? You see, I said the same thing earlier, right? You know why? Because if I find out the reward that he told me I'm supposed to give with that money mm -hmm. ain't the reward I'm giving, I ain't never going back to that job, right? Mm -hmm. But if I find out that that church, that the reward they say I'm supposed to be giving out of that Bible ain't in that Bible, so I'm still going to that church. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I care more about my pockets than my salvation. I mean, that's everybody. I would have said the same thing back in the day. But that's, that's the way it is. 